Now, I do want to look at one more example before moving on. So let's create a right triangle here. And remember, the triangle does have to be a right triangle. It does have to contain a right angle. And let's say this time we do have the hypotenuse and we're missing one of the legs. So let's say this is three and we'll call this side Y. So the Pythagorean theorem can still be used on this triangle, even though now we know the hypotenuse. And like I mentioned, when we work through this problem, it doesn't matter what you call A and B here. Like we can call this A and we can call this side B, or we can switch it, it doesn't really matter. But the hypotenuse, this has to be C in this theorem. So let's plug everything in now. So we have A squared, so that's Y squared, plus B squared, which is 3 squared, and this is equal to C squared, and C is 5. And now we can just simplify. So Y squared plus 3 times 3 is 9. 5 times 5 we know is 25. And we need to solve this equation for Y squared. So we can cancel out this addition by 9 by doing subtraction by 9. So we get that y squared is 25 minus 9, which is 16. So we need to now cancel out this square by taking a square root on each side. And again, we don't have to put the plus or minus since we're dealing with a physical side length. So we're asking what number multiplied by itself would give us 16? and we know that that is just positive four. So this missing side length here is simply four. And notice how in both scenarios, we ended up with all whole numbers for the sides of our right triangles. And we have a specific name for when that happens. These are called Pythagorean triples. So anytime you get only integers or only whole numbers for the side lengths in your triangle, in your right triangle, then that's what's known as a Pythagorean triple. And this one right here is the simplest one that can be made when you have a right triangle that has sides three, four, and five. So these triples show up quite often. They could also be multiples of this. It could be six, eight, and 10, or maybe nine, 12, and 15. So you wanna look for these patterns since they can save you time from actually calculating using the Pythagorean theorem. But like I mentioned, this is another one, the 5, 12, 13 right triangle. But most right triangles will not have integer values for their side lengths. So you will often end up with irrational numbers. Like for instance, if you had a right triangle where each side length was 1, then the hypotenuse is the square root of 2. So this is the more typical case, but I did want to mention that sometimes you do end up with all integer values.